look at that. Powering multiple devices from the gimbal. Things like the nano motor and the hand wheel. What's interesting about this is that we still retain camera control. You just saw the record light go on. So that's plugged into the camera. Uh, of course, you could be using their motor. I'm using mine. So I can use the wheel for something else. But that's not what you're here for. Let me show you how to get power to these devices. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, man. Um, as soon as you get it, you try. You whip out... Um, their micro usb cable and find that hang on it doesn't work <clears throat> um yeah you probably even go as far as getting a cable from your drone and even that doesn't work so how do you get power if you're not going to use the camera control port well this is the answer this little DJI, it's a USB-C, um, USB-C to micro USB adapter. Uh, so these are the only things that work. I was lucky enough to get a cheap one on eBay. Uh, so, you know, some of you might look there. There's a Ronin SC version on their website. I'm not 100% sure if that one works. It probably will. However, there is a much cheaper one that I've seen somebody use that does work. I bought one, uh, it didn't arrive on time for me to make this video. I'll put an update in the description uh, when it arrives. So, take your Nano, or the motor, um, put one in, that's pretty much ready to go. I'll hardly be using the um, hand wheel this method because uh, for the most part, I'll be using their wheel um, for, for focus and um, maybe keep the nano for zoom if I want it. Uh, so yeah, now uh, you've got that in, just take their normal USB-C to USB-C cable, plug it into ports two or three and you'll have power. And yes, five volts is enough power for the famous Sigma 18 to 35 lens. Thanks for watching.